So you know how people do those videos where it shows them walking into their workshop or driving to the workshop and it looks really staged and set up and fake and all that sort of carol? I'm doing one now! I was doing that because I had done a video of what the progress was on this thing today. This one zillion horsepower this in March thing. Uh, the video, I went to edit it and it was quite dumb. So it got deleted and we'll start again. And this one's probably going to be equally as dumb, but we are running out of time. So this will be the one you see. Yesterday I made the bracket to hold the brackets, to hold the fuel filters. Did that, showed you that. Today what I did was put some holes in there to mount the fuel filler cap. I welded this entire side onto the fuel tank. I'm not taking it back out to show you though, but that's done. I made the hoses up. We actually had one just sitting in the box that was exactly the right length. I just had changed the fittings on the end, so that was cool. Uh, and there was a off cut of hose. So I had to put the olives on, put the fittings on. It was good, so I didn't even have to cut any hose. So that was awesome. Those two, perfect. I talked about putting a, a bracket here with a clamp to hold the hoses but they're not going anywhere that famous saying they're pretty sturdy and strong and stiff enough they'll hold themselves there no problems at all you don't go dead straight line between there and there because if something gets a knock it'll pull the hose and break things and then you have a fuel leak and the fiery burny juicy stuff gets out and makes hot orange things that melt everything and hurt people so uh there is something that we have to look at on the bmw over there i've noticed one or two of those hoses were done rather poorly i'm not sure who did them but they need to be resolved so anyway of course that tank is now slightly bigger than the other tank so i've measured it all up it's just simple mathematics you measure this distance here and that distance there, and that distance there. You kind of you can do it accurately, or you can just kind of average it out if you've got funky corners and stuff going on. And then you just times that by that by that. That's about 34 litres, give or take, a bit. It's around about there. We got four more litres than what we had before. So if we're running at Pukekohe, it might get another lap. But that's enough. For what we do with Superlap, 34 litres is plenty. It will be absolutely no good for anything else like GTR and Z or anything like that. We would be running out of fuel. Unless you bump the power back down. Then you might be alright. So 1.6mm thick is lighter than the 2mm thick aluminium that we've used there. So And we've put more fuel in it. So yes, we've gained some weight. But Take a look at what we've actually ditched out of the car. Is that hose there. We won't need that one anymore. We won't need that hose there anymore. We won't need... I'm not going to do each and every single one. Because you'll get sick of that. won't need those four hoses there anymore. We're getting rid of that filter. We're getting rid of that filter. And it's bracket. And the other bracket. I don't know what that lot there weighs. But I reckon that probably weighs more than the extra aluminium that we've got in our tank. 0.4 millimeter thick aluminium. Uh, it's only 500 wide, and it was less than 1200 to do the the full circumference of it. I guess you'd call that the full distance, starting there all the way around and back to there, plus the end plates. We're dealing with less than quarter of a sheet of 0.4 millimeter thick aluminium it's not going to weigh a heck of a lot at all we can do that i mean someone can do the maths on that you can tell me what it weighs you could i could do it but i'm not going to uh pretty easy to work that out it's not much that's not going to be a lot heavier than i can't show you the other one it's under there um whereas this stuff here should I go and get the scales? Nah. 400 grams, 500 grams and that, probably even more. 
Um, so a few things that are not finished with the with the fuel tank. It needs a contraption. Some people put dog bowls on them. I made that one up for the previous one. I just tucked it under the bolt heads, to be honest, and that seemed to work good enough. It didn't leak if you spilt fuel. It held it enough that it wasn't an issue, you know. Um, that's for Motorsport New Zealand Schedule A stuff, so that if we're filling up the fuel tank and we overflow it, we'll spill it, splosh it everywhere. It doesn't sit around the bottom of the car and then... I guess cause a fire or something if you left it in there and went out on the track. Uh, so we have to have something of that nature on there. It probably won't be that one. This is quite, I mean, it's, it's really light and I guess I could tidy it up and make it a bit nicer, but uh, it probably doesn't even have to be as high as that. But it's a little bit agricultural, I guess. So I want to make something that's a bit nicer than that. Um, and the other thing that we need is, I need to make up my mind whether I'm going to put this rollover vent check valve arrangement in or leave it out. These caps here, they do have a one-way check valve thing in there, in that small little vent. Just sort of contemplating how much air are we going to be able to suck through that? Are we going to be able to suck, um, I don't know what this thing's going to consume, five, six litres per minute at 700 horsepower? Are we going to be able to get enough air in there or is that actually going to start causing a bit of a restriction and cause us problems with fuel flow and all that sort of carry on? It is a reasonable size hole but I think it might be just a bit on the sketchy side therefore we'll we'll need to put a one of these in there I think the other washer is still stuck inside the fuel tank the other fuel tank I better go and get that out before I forget about it because we need two washers to seal it so that's it that's all that's happened at the moment oh I did the, the mounts you can see the mounts I did explain them in the previous video, and then I deleted that, like I said. Uh, the theory here is we've got a reasonable distance from here up to the weld so that it can have a little bit of movement, a little bit of chassis flex and all that sort of carry on. If we just had this welded straight on to there, and then the chassis moves and twists or a bang into a wall and it gives it a big hit, it can very easily tear the fuel tank or rip the mounts off or whatever. Whereas the arrangement that I've got there at the moment, um, it's only got these front four screws on that. I'm not sure if I can show you. I don't know if you can see that. It can move a little bit. I'm not going to try and get a pry bar on it or anything. It's just to give it a couple of millimetres of flex without going to the extreme of having rubber mounts or anything like that. Um, and that is about it. I did, that's a liar, by the way, when I come out in the morning, that was reading right, I did some funny maths going on there, it was an hour late yesterday afternoon, or thereabouts, I was actually reading right this morning, and then it's, whatever, an hour and a half out now, I don't, I don't know what's going on there, it was funny, um, I had a ferret through our dangerous goods cabinet looking for some red paint, I thought I might have some nice two pot, uh, 2k cobra or something like that, no, no. So I've got about five or six different shades of silver, but not 50 shades of grey, uh, but no shades of red, none. So I was kind of wanting to do this engine bay uh, and, and the inside of the car, and sorry, two engine bays on this really, aren't there? The original engine bay, the, the fuel slash radiator bay in the front, I wanted to do that red and the inside of the car and the engine bay in the back red so that the car would then become a red car with silver bits on it instead of being a silver car with red bits on it. But I don't have any paint, so that's possibly not going to happen unless I go and buy some. Okay, that's today's video. Real short one, sorry. No, no uh, before and afters on anything. We'll see what we come up with tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.